welcome back to another video in this video we are going to do our next experiment this one is called heat of solution right so it's a pretty simple experiment right so we know by now we have two types of reaction exothermic and endothermic reaction so the particular reaction we are just di dissolving a substance in this case we are going to dissolve sodium trisulfate in water and see if the temperature of this solution increase or decrease. So we want to see if it is given off to the surrounding or absorbed. And to do that, we are going to monitor temperature changes, right? Now we have a, well it's not styrofoam, but it's similar to the styrofoam cup, right? It prevents heat from being given off, right? Or lost to the surrounding so it's pretty simple i'm going to measure the temperature of the water then i'm going to add this sodium trisulfate put the thermometer through this and cover it up and record the temperature again right i'm not going to tell you the reason for covering it up i want you to figure it out all right so let's go so we had allowed for this the water in here it has been here for about five minutes or more just to acclimatize to room temperature all right so i'm going to record the temperature now the thermometer does this rubber on it so i hold on to the rubber if it was not on it you would hold the thermometer at the tip all right not down here because remember your hand can be warm right so that affects the accuracy of the reading thermometer records temperature right so the only influence you want to be on the temperature is the actual solution right and also, right so also the bulb which is the red part of the thermometer you want to ensure that it is completely below the liquid all right well i can see it here all right so you want to ensure that it goes below the liquid all right but not but don't let the don't let it touch the corners or any wall don't let it touch the wall of the container or the bottom of it all right so you just put it inside and allow it to go below the surface of the liquid but don't touch anywhere in the container you just want your thermometer to be in contact with whatever solution you are putting it in all right so according to this and when you are reading the thermometer you must read it at eye level meaning so if you look on the thermometer the this is an alcohol thermometer so the red line will it might look orangish to you all right so i think you can see it it's right here so this is what we're going to read all right and it has the numbers along it right it goes up by it starts at 20 all right no not 20. that's minus 20 all right so it goes up by 10 right so 10, 20, 30. And it goes down to minus 20. All right, because it can go below zero as well. All right. So according to this, so when I say read it at eye level, the red, where of the red line here, it should be in line with your eyes. All right. So according to the temperature, it is 26. So the temperature of this water is 26 degrees celsius all right so you can see the orange line i want you to be able to see it i think that all right so 26 so our initial reading for temperature is 26 so it's 26 degrees celsius all right now i'm going to add 
the sodium thiosulfate and stir quickly. Right. So they dissolve it. I probably shouldn't do this. And to ensure that all of it dissolves. Mm -hmm. For accuracy reasons. Not good. So I'm covering it up, thermometer is inside, and I'm recording the reading. Right. I'm just going to wait, remember it was at 26, it's now gone below 26, it's at 20, it's at 24. Alright, so it's dropped to 24, a little below 24. Alright, meanwhile, that one is going on now. We are going to do the same experiment again with the next substance. It's going to be sodium hydroxide. Alright, so this one it went to 23.5, so it moved from 26 to 23.5. Now I'm going to move a little quicker because sodium hydroxide it tends to stick to the container. Alright, so first I'm going to measure the temperature of the water again. This one is 27. Alright, so the temperature of this one is 27. Alright, so I'm going to pour the soda mic dioxide inside of it. And quickly record the temperature. I also need to cover it up and the temperature is rising rapidly it's now at 50 I wanted it I wanted you to see it as, as it was moving up yes I think you can still see it moving a little over 50 <coughs> all right so up here now, the line. So if you compare, right, so this is going back up, right, but just this line, the orange line here, just compared to this one here, which is less than 30, and this one is above 50. All right? So what is the purpose of this experiment? Again, it's energetics. One of these reaction is exothermic and one is endothermic. So I showed you both an endothermic reaction and an exothermic one. So the first one with sodium thiosulfate, the initial temperature was 26. And when I, the initial temperature of the water was 26. When I added sodium thiosulfate and stir, it was 23.5. Let me see if all of it dissolved, yes. Right, so it clear that the temperature decreased, meaning no heat was lost, right, but it was absorbed. So it's an endothermic reaction, right, and we use 10 grams of it in 100 cm cube of water. So we add 10 grams of sodium thiosulfate 
to 100 cm cube of water. And before the temperature decreases, let me read it. So this is at 51, 52, between uh, about 52.3. All right. I'm going to call it yeah, 52.3. All right. So it was 27 and it went all the way up to 52. I'm just going to say 52.5 degrees Celsius. All right. So that's 25. Point, so that's an increase in the temperature by 25.5 degrees Celsius. That's a big increase in temperature. All right. So the addition of sodium hydroxide to, to water. It's a very exothermic reaction, whereas the one with sodium thiosulfate is an endothermic reaction. Heat was absorbed. So whenever the temperature decreases, it means heat is being absorbed. If the temperature increases, heat is being released. So the container, if this was not a, if this was done in a beaker, the container would have been very hot, right? But this it's like an insulator, right? So it absorbs the heat, right? So the heat is not lost. Just like if you buy a soup in a container like a thermos, right? It contains the heat, right? It chops it. Same thing here. So that's basically it. In the next video, I will do the calculation, or you can perform the calculation. So it's 100 cm cube of water, 10 gram of sodium hydroxide. The initial temperature was 27. The final temperature was 52.5 and you would use the formula Q equal MC delta T to calculate the heat change and the heat of solution as well. And for the sodium thiosulfate, initial was 26, final was 23.5. So you could work out the heat of solution for the two solutions, sodium thiosulfate and sodium hydroxide. All right, so that's it for this experiment. And you could draw the energy profile diagram and all that, but I will do that in the next video. All right, if you have any question, you may ask in the comment section.